Spatula Games back with some more Starfield and coffee, as you can see. <laughs> anyway. So the last episode was a lot of activities and um, just running around and gathering stuff. And so what I want to do is I need some skill points. So I went to the mission board, as you can see. I haven't looked at this before, and now I'm like very intrigued. I want to try some of these. Let's try that one. That's Alpha Centauri. Two days. Yes. Dust off. Level five, okay. All right. Okay. Where do I go? Up. I guess so. As the hero of the camp, you need your own comics, your own cartoons, your own theme song. We have got to make this happen. <laughs> How may I serve you? Absolutely. Ask away. Anything about yourself. How do you know so much about me? Ooh. Uh, you need to talk about your... We need to talk about your fandom. Um, here we go. Well, for one, your triumph on Vectera was all over the news. But I believe that's only the beginning. The first chapter in a 437 book anthology documenting your greatness it's only a matter of time absolutely before they start writing it i'll be counting the seconds until they do 1001 1002 oh i'm not that interesting i like coffee i like tea and i like worshiping the ground you walk on <laughs> That's a bit much. Well, you technically don't walk. Uh, angels tend to glide. Let me know if you want to talk some more. All right. Whoa. How do I get this? Uh... Whoa. Really? So that's it? Okay. Here... Oh, didn't I talk to this guy already? What do we got here? Another applicant to the UC Vanguard? Yep. Interested in doing some good for the people of the United Colonies, all while earning your citizenship and credits to boot? The what United is the Colonies Vanguard? Volunteer fleet. Any captain can join, regardless of origin. Get to fly your own ship and earn credits as you help yep. the people in the most distant reaches of the United Colonies, all while earning your way to UC citizenship. Put in the time, and citizenship is guaranteed. Um, tell me more. Glad to hear it. Signing up simple. All you've got to do is pass a flight exam and make it through one probationary mission and you're in. We'll have you working your way to UC citizenship in no time. Uh, 
Okay, what kind of work would I be doing? Vanguard work is as needed. When we've got jobs, we'll make them available to you. But the work itself, well, it runs the gamut. Sometimes you might be hunting down hostile ships on behalf of the UC Navy, or you might be called up to help the science division clean up some invasive species. Hell, we've even been asked to help take on the occasional terramorph. And sometimes we just need cargo support. Not every job's glamorous. <clears throat> Vanguard only gets called in for the ones where there's a chance of seeing action. Wherever the UC needs us, the Vanguard is there. Okay. Well, all right. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard Orientation Hall. You can get started at any of the registration terminals. The system will walk you through the rest. And if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Okay. Well. <clears throat> Applicant name, Arthur Morgan. Current bounty, zero. To register for your examination, please select Enlistment Agreement. I, Arthur Morgan, agree. You may proceed to the examination chamber through the orientation hall. Okay. This is only a simulation. Okay. This is the Mark 18 flight simulation chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. <clears throat> gotcha. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must oh. defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant. New targets active. Where are they? All right. Darn it. the other one turning oh
Gotcha. Now there's one more. Oh boy. New targets active. Where? 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 Oh! This is your time. Okay. All targets eliminated. Progress recorded. Okay. Tier three reached. Nice. Congratulations, applicant. You've defeated sufficient opponents to pass the exam. You may now exit the simulator through the hatch to record your current score, or stay and try your hand at the remaining tiers. Nope. Well, look who's back. Everything go all right with the exam? Yep. Did you have some questions you needed answered first. I wrapped up my pilot a piloting exam and they told me to come back here. Yep. Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Yep. Sir, yes, sir. Nah, better not. Then let's get to him. So, looking at the data. <clears throat> Checked out a few of the murals. Good. Inquisitive folks tend to do well around here. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Ah. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? All right, clear tier three. We try to set a high bar, so that's no small feat. Nice work. So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only 10 years service. Better than your average lab rat or diplomat. Yikes! But pretty standard for folks going out into combat. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear ah. off. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? Sure. Can we do this under the table? <laughs> sure. Fantastic. Then just follow me. Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the stars. Oh, I see. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies? the best of your abilities and to uphold the values of the vanguard honor loyalty self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the united colonies navy amen brother 
<laughs> All my actions? That seems a bit much. Yeah, whatever. Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. Ah. Uh. And what I've got is... Compromare. <clears throat> Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plant on Tau City 2. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Ah. Uh. Place is as isolated as they come. So Brass wants a Vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, Ooh. can the people of Tau Ceti II count on you? That's the sure. Spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh, and your advance. Ooh. Give it your all out there. Supra et Supra Ultra. Et Ultra. Three thousand. Nice. That music. Grunt work. So, uh, let's look at that. Uh -huh. Ah, you mustache. Are probationary then? Crew Chief Herath, pleasure to be working with you. It's my job to make sure all you rocket jockeys are ready for anything that comes at you up there. Now, Manifest says we're fitting you out with one comms repair suite. In addition to the standard issue welcome kit all probationary pilots get for their first mission. Ah. Med packs, some small arms, couple spare ship parts, all the essentials in case of any surprises up there. My people will have everything on your ship before you lift off. Won't even know they were there. Hmm. So, paying a visit to the people of scenic Tau City 2. Yes. Nice easy one for your first job. Just keep your head on swivel and you'll come home safe. Any questions before you head out? Nope. Then I won't keep you. Make us look good out there, recruit. Okay. Ugh, lightning. Okay. Ouch. Oh, hold on. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. Okay, alien looks like. He left cake. Oh boy. This is not good. Uh oh. Oop. Um. Uh, humanity has been trying to speed up the process of growing food. The plan. Chores. Hey. <clears throat> now, hold on a second. Okay, I'm there. They're over here. Okay. Oh, right on. So that was... No? Okay, never mind. Do we have anything? No. Iron? What's here? Notebook? I don't want any notebooks. Okay. Shotgun shells, yes. 
Ultra Mag. I've not seen yet. A fan? No. A book? Hundred and sixty five meters. Okay. Uh, can I make something? No. Snake oil. No, I can't. All right. Um. Oops. Uh, so I need to go. Ooh. Stapler. Oh. Dude, it's so fast. blown up toilet um uh oh oh no credits I hope that's not contraband Nothing. Hmm. Um, not looking good. Nobody dead in here. What? Sarcasm, sulfur, argon, calcium, and samarium. Sarcasm. It's right up there with infinity limited. Okay, so. Oop. It's changing. Hold on. Let's get out of here. Are they down there? Ooh, this place got really destroyed. Wrecked, you might say. Okay. What? Hold on. I don't want to investigate that. No, that sounds really bad. Um. What do we want here? No, 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 no. I don't want to investigate that. Hold on. Either I got hit harder than I thought, or you've got some incredible timing. Regardless, I think it knows you're here. I'll unlock the door. Second floor, main building. But 
be quiet. Okay. What's that? Okay, can I come in? So what do we got here? It's too clean to be one of the settlers. Or a pirate. You see on patrol, maybe? Yeah, make my day if you said you were a shock trooper out for a stroll. Actually, Vanguard sent me, though they failed to mention how bad things were. Vanguard, huh? Yeah, I expect they didn't. I'm Hadrian. I'm a... I was a researcher with the UC. I, I came here on a rumor of a... Well, I expect you saw the results on your way in. Yep. What's left of the settlers? The work of Oxisio Machina. A terramorph. One mm. of the nastiest aliens humanity's ever crossed paths with. And this one, well, it's something of an anomaly. Possibly a worrying one. Sounds like you could use my help. Uh, I'm not exactly equipped to deal with a killer alien. Not untrue. Terramorph. Uh, what kind of anomaly? Are all the settlers dead then? I managed to scope out a fair bit of the facility before it found me. If there are any survivors of the attack, they're long gone. Oh, wow. Terramorphs have a unique growth cycle. They're usually only found on worlds that have been long colonized by humanity. Mm. But Tao said he's too young to have one. Yet here it is. Oh. I came looking for an explanation and found all this. Hmm. I'm not exactly equipped to deal with a killer alien. But, at the same time... I sure could. <clears throat> because to confirm my suspicions about this creature, I'm gonna need a tissue sample from it. And to get that, I need its corpse. Okay. But there is a way we can give ourselves an edge against this thing. The plant security system. Ah. The admin terminal's here in this building, but it needs its connection reset. And as I found out, that's not a one-person job. Mm. But if you can make it to the security outpost and restore the connection, I think I can get things back online. See if the settlers left us any other tools. Hmm. All right, let's get that security system back online. <laughs> True. No chew toy. What can you tell me about the security system? Where can I find it? Um, let's get it back Good. online. Once I see the connection reset, I'll get things underway on my end. Take care of yourself out there. And make sure you leave enough of that thing for us to get a sample. Exactly. Okay. Might need a med pack or two. All right. What what's in here? Oops. Canuck double double. I don't know what that is. 
Um. All right. Well. Can I? Hold on. Can I go around this way? Detected by what? So the only way is down. Detected by what? Okay. I go in the door. Reset. Okay. Just get the thing to chase you down the alleys between the buildings, and you'll lead it right into a crossfire. What? Hello. I wish I'd found this earlier. You notice those sensors around the facility? Part of a livestock tracking system. Oh. Should let you keep tabs on how close the Terramorph is. But it's not connected to this network. Match. There should be a terminal in the adjoining room. Tune it to 183.5. Yeah. They're set up but need power. There's breakers on each of the buildings you can throw to get them live. Once they're online, lead the terramorph towards the lights and watch the fireworks. Okay. Restore power to the kill lanes.
26 meters, 10 meters. It's right there. But there's one right there. How do I get in there? Where's the door? Can I go up? What's up here? Uh, where are they? Restore power to the kill lanes. It doesn't give me any more than that. Fourteen. It's in there. How do I get... Yes, I need to get in there. Where's the door? There is no door. How do I get in there? Okay, this is a wild goose chase. Why you gotta do me like that? <clears throat> there it is. There's one up there. Okay, this is taking forever. Okay, there's one over there. Okay, I can go across, I believe.
Okay. this thing um gonna need more than bolt cutters where is it is that it Okay, I need to go back over there. Okay. We gotta go back across. Where is it? Can I get through here? Oh. Okay, I thought that was it. That's not it. I can't jump down there. I cannot get that far. Okay. Where am I going? In here? I can't get in there. Did I already do this? Uh... <clears throat> Where is it? Huh? No, it's 
says 14. Is it going to kill it? Eighty meters from where? Huh? Is that her? Okay. You won't let me go under there? Nothing? Let's try... Right on. No? Nothing? <laughs> Do I, am I out of ammo? Is it dead? Let's go. There we go. Return to Hadrian. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Tracker's gone quiet. I suspect it's either hiding or... Wait. You did it, didn't you? I did it. Effins above, you just flatlined a terror morph. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not too proud. Thank you for saving my ass. You're you welcome. You didn't grab me a tissue sample, did you? I sure did. All right. I spotted a microscope downstairs. 
Let's see if we can't. I sold mine. Okay. Evisceration. No pun intended. We just eviscerated a terror morph. What is that? Nothing? Equipment? It's not set up to do a proper analysis of our sample. But this Terramorph being here, of all places, it doesn't make sense. Humanity's spread plenty of creatures in our travels across the stars. Right. Pets, livestock, pests. But Terramorphs? They're different. To our knowledge, no one's ever spread them intentionally. Yet somehow, okay. they follow us. So when humans settle <clears throat> the world, 70 to 100 years later, terramorphs tend to just appear. No one knows how or why. Dangerous, but at least predictable. Mm -hmm. Talcetti, though, it's too young to have a native population. It's only been colonized 20 years. But then the other option, that someone captured one of the deadliest predators in the galaxy just to wipe out some settlers minding their own business? That seems awfully <coughs> implausible. Which means we're either looking at a truly strange murder or a faster type of terramorph growth, the results of which could be catastrophic. Terramorph outbreaks have taken down far bigger colonies than this one. Mm. Rational? Do something quick. Leap to make from a single sample. Terramorphs have taken down other colonies? How does no one know how Terramorphs get into human worlds? I think somebody planted it. There is. There has to be. We just have to find it. Time was, I had access to one of the best repositories of Terramorph research in the galaxy. Seems a natural place to start looking, if I can figure how to access it. But we also need to get this sample properly analyzed, get confirmation yep. on just how concerned we should be. Luckily, I think I know just the person to help with the sample. What would you say to delivering this to him for me? Okay. I'd do it myself, but I need to call in some favors. See if I can't get access to that Terramorph data. Plus, maybe just pop by a hospital for a little bit. Right. Clear it with your commander first if you have to. You can even show them this. My gene tag. Tell them Hadrian Sanan is worried there could be more attacks on the horizon. They should recognize the name. Why would my commander know who you are? Don't worry, I'll make sure my commander agrees. Oh, you don't understand what a weight off my shoulders that is. <clears throat> I need Dr. Percival Walker to put together a sample analysis for this thing. Full workup. He'll know what that means. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure exactly where to find him, but last I heard, he was contracting with the Trade Authority on Mars. Mars. There's a place called the Sixth Circle in Sidonia. Bar run by some old friends. I'll meet you and Percival there. And here. It's not exactly a bounty, but you certainly deserve them. Should cover the cost of fuel to Mars, at least. Now please, go check in with your commander. 
We need to know what we're dealing with. Okay. Okay, so, where are we going? New Atlantis? Okay, so, let's get back in our civilian cloths. <clears throat> okay, I don't know, but... I've almost been at this for three hours, so I'm going to stop right there. We are back in, um, we're back on Jemison. So anyway, wow. Didn't expect any of that, but there it is. So hopefully I'll see you in the next one.